difference. You need to be perspicacious. You need to understand that in this world, there's a whole bunch of people doing amazing shit that you are not doing. And that needs to piss you off. Because if it pisses you off, you become motivated all of a sudden. I was the only one who was pissed off when that Aston Martin was next to me and had my sales job. I was the only one who was pissed off when I saw that Ferrari back. Other people were not annoyed by it. When they're not annoyed by it, they're not driven to be it. You understand? They're not driven to be where that person was. You need to be annoyed and I'm telling you, I'm telling you to be angry. Anger is a fantastic force. Like I said, the world tells you not to be arrogant, tells you not to be angry. There's two things it tells you to do. Don't be arrogant, don't have an ego, and you know, you don't have anger. You're a fucking man, you're a full grown man. Perfectly fine for you to be pissed. It's perfectly fine for you to look around at your life, look at the girl you're fucking, look at the house you live in, look at the car you drive, and get pissed off and go, you know what, I want a hotter bitch. I want a fucking nicer house, I want a faster car. There's nothing wrong if you take that anger and you direct it in the correct direction. This is the reason I stopped fighting now. People go, why do you stop fighting us? Because I fought and I went through hell to get everything I now have. I had nothing. I had nothing. And I wanted the life I now have. Now I wake up in one of my three mansions with one of my seven supervisors and one of my team women. What do I need to fight for? People have different motivations for different things. Some fighters out there who fight for other reasons. But my motivation was I was pissed off at the world. And now I'm not as angry as I used to be, so I don't believe I'm as good a fighter as I used to be. I'll still whoop some ass, but I'm not as good as I used to be. I've decided to retire early. But this is the second thing. First thing, leave it a man. Second thing, you need to get angry about your situation. And you don't own the home you're in, get pissed off. If you're at a Ferrari on your drive, get pissed off. If you don't have 10 Playboy Bunny level beauties, get pissed off. And well, what the fuck? You need to sit there and realize, whoa, 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 whoa. I have a few years of consciousness. And even less than that, I have a few short years as a young man. Because age will damage you. I mean, if you're a millionaire in your 60s, it's not nearly as good as being a millionaire at my age. I became a millionaire at 28. So you need to realize you've got a few short years as a young man, fucking wasting them. You need to sit there and go, fuck, shit, get angry. Because getting angry, forced, directed anger is extremely powerful. These are the first two things. This is the third thing. This is a very, very important thing. So I try and explain this to people. don't seem to. Done. And make very, very good. Nobody, absolutely nobody, gives a fuck about you as much as you're going to have to. Nobody cares about you as much as they need to care to fix your life. Even your parents, even your friends, even all the people who think they care about you, they care about you. Yeah, sure, there may be two or three people on the planet who genuinely care about you. But nobody is going to come to your bed, drag you out of bed, fucking drag you to a job force you to work hard, go and get you a hot bitch and go and buy you a Ferrari. Nobody is going to do that for you. You are never gonna have any of the things you want if you do not get them yourself. Nobody cares about you enough to do it for you. This is absolutely true. Only person who gives a shit about your life truly is you. And if you don't give a shit, then you're fucked. But point two, get angry, you're gonna start giving a shit very soon. After you get angry, you need to realize that nobody is gonna give you the things you want. It doesn't matter if Donald Trump is the president or not. You use Trump, and it doesn't make a difference. No politician is going to make you rich. No one else is going to come along and say, I'm going to concentrate my effort fixing your life. Nobody. You have to understand you are out here alone, absolutely alone. When you understand these three things, you start to see how a mindset comes together. Nobody's going to say, fuck, it's totally down to you. Pissed off with your current situation, and you want to change it. Plus, you believe you can do absolutely anything. This is how I thought at 18 years old. Because at a very young age, when I had my prime resource, energy, and power at 18, 19 years old, I understood those three tenets. I believe I can do anything. I'm pissed off I don't have the life I want. And nobody else is going to give it to me. These are three things you need to understand. If any one of these elements is missing, you'll never have the right mindset. The G mindset will never formulate if any one of these elements is missing. All three are absolutely essential. And the sooner you get your act done, the sooner you start to panic and worry and be concerned that you're 24 or 25, you're not fucking rich yet. There's 24 and 25 year olds out there who got a contract for a fucking NBA with their parents or they won the lottery, who knows what. There's 24 and 25 year olds out there who are multimillionaires fucking the hot models. These Instagram girls with 3 million followers, they're getting dicked by someone and it ain't you. And that needs to piss you off. You need to get concerned, you need to get worried, you need to, shit, I'm running out of time. You need to get some urgency in your life.
Put these three things together is absolutely essential. It's the beginning of the G mindset. When you have these three, three things totally done, I'll tell you what happens. I'll tell you what happened for me. So I became a sayer. So my brother said, you've become a sayer. And what that means is I made a pact to him that my word was unbreakable. Strength and honor. If I said something. So I'd wake up in the morning, I'd say to my brother, I'm doing a thousand press ups. Once I said it, once I spoke it, it's like, like a genie, it became true. If I said I was gonna do a thousand press ups, I'd do them. Because if I didn't do them, I'd feel guilty within myself that I was the kind of person to talk shit. But G's don't talk shit. So the three tenets we've already learned, and you've still these in your mind, you don't want to be the kind of person. So if I woke up to my brothers, I'm doing a thousand press ups, or I'm running 20 miles. I would do it, because if I didn't do it, I'd feel like a dickhead. Because when you instill these mindsets, when, you're, when your mindset changes, you start to be extremely accountable for yourself. No one's coming to save you. You're extremely accountable. So when you realize that your word is one of the few things you have on this planet, if you say things, you're going to start sticking. So then it becomes very easy to train. You say, I'm going to train every day this week. I'm going to train two hours a day. As soon as you set it, it's basically done. If I say something, it's basically done. It's, it's set in stone. If I say something, I'm going to do it. There's no way I'm going to say, I'm going to make, say some words and speak them into existence in this, on this planet. And then I'm going to be the kind of pussy who quits because it's too hard. If I say I'm going to do 10,000 push-ups, I'm going to do it. Because I'm the kind of person who sticks to the words he says. And this is another thing you need to understand with you need to Be very, very specific with what you say. Because if you can still your mindset correctly and you start to just say things, just start saying things. Then you hold yourself accountable. Say things you don't even think you want to do. Wake up and go up to your friend or your mom or whoever and say, you know what? I'm going to do a thousand push-ups today. Say it to people. And they're going to say, no, you're not. So watch me. And then you have a choice. You're either going to succeed like a G or you're going to be a little pussy. And you're going to quit at 310. It's hard. What kind of man are you? That's a decision you need to make. You're the kind of man I was. I'd say shit and I'd fucking stick. And my brother said, you become a sayer. I used to train with my brother. He'd say less than five. So let's do 2,000. He'd say, you said it now, so we have to do it. Exactly. I said it now, so now we have to do it. There is no surrender. We have to do it. This is another facet of the G mindset. This is number four. You gotta start saying shit, and your word has to be iron, unbreakable. This translates across everything. It's not just training, it translates across everything in life, even relationships. I say to my girlfriend, stop fucking with me when you're out there. Men say that all the time in our and then they continue to argue for two hours. They'll say that and then they'll argue. If I say that and she continues to talk shit, I start throwing her shit out the fucking door because I said it. Or if I say something, I mean it. If I look a man in his eyes and say, I'm gonna whoop your ass, shut up, and he continues to talk, I have to kick his ass. I'm careful with what I say. If I tell him to shut up and he doesn't shut up, that's a different thing. If I say shut up or I'm gonna whoop your ass and he continues to talk, I will fuck him up. Because I'm the kind of person who if I say something, I mean what I say.